All right, so today we're going to watch our bestie Tabitha, <laughs> the old Southern wife, everyday life. Uh, and the too logged in watch of her is that we found her, uh, I think, this past Croctober, which is a, a, a holiday we celebrate over here on the twitch.tv slash the Zachary Mike. And um, we we used to have some girlies that we watched that did Croctober. Basically, Croctober. Oh, my God. I have so much to explain. <laughs> oh, great start. Great start. Great start. Great start. Magic tricks. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Great start to the <laughs> to the new YouTube channel. <sighs> um Croctober. Croctober is the month of October and you make a bunch of crock pot recipes, okay? That's what Croctober is. We found her during Croctober. We love Tabitha. We love Tabby. <laughs> and she she loves cooking with butter. Um, a lot of her dishes look greasy, and she says greasy. There's just a lot to love. <laughs> There's a lot to love, a lot to watch. Um, so we should probably get to get to. So, chat, if you're ready... <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Soy sauce balls. Yo, you can't. <laughs> if we're going to start a second YouTube channel, you can't do all of this. And by that, I mean a third YouTube channel. You can't, you can't do all this. <sighs> Tabitha. Oh, <laughs> Tabitha. A lot of people say Tabitha looks like, um, like Destiny, like like she could be Destiny's sister. <laughs> so there you go. All right. If y'all are ready, could you keep putting 69s in the chat? I think I did already ask, but I'm just so distracted today. We're in a distracted state of mind today, besties. Um, the video we're watching today is called Homemade Fast Fast Food. Better than takeout restaurant favors at home. And, oh, she's got four bars in the title of her video. Homemade fast food. Bar, bar. Better than takeout. Bar, bar. Restaurant favorites at home. <laughs> bar, bar. Love. Love, love, love. All right, so let's get to... Tabitha. <laughs> jump scare. Jump scare. Pause screen. Jump scare. <laughs> Look at this pause screen. I'm so sorry, Tabitha. This is her. I just spilled water on myself. It's fine. This is her regular meals that she named homemade fast food. She doesn't bite anymore. She looks like she bites, though, is the problem. <laughs> is little Posef in the room? He sure is. He's right down here. Right down next to me. Um, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, let's just get to get to. Are way better than takeout. I missed what she said. Also, who's getting, who's getting steak at a fast food place? That was steak, right? Oh, I forget she's always so quiet. I'm so sorry. Besties, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, so, I'm so sorry. She, I got, y'all don't have to say she's quiet in the chat. I got it. I got it, y'all. I got it. I had, I actually had the, the audio turned down because I use the same software to record. Um, I use it to record for my gaming channel. I'm going to have so many channels when all is said and done here. Um, but she, she's quiet. She's quiet. Very quiet. She's so quiet. Um, she's got, uh, we love a greasy homemade fast food meal. Oh my gosh, Rosie. I forgot that the Twitch even had this like new super chat looking ass feature. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, bestie. <clears throat> All right, here we here, here we go. Here we go. I'm 
bits. Honestly, I, I think because it pins your message like a super chat on YouTube does. Um, and it's real money. And bits, bits are like, you have to pay real money to get bits, but it's different. You know? And, and bits you also make like pennies from. I think you might, I think creators and content creators and streamers might make more money from the actual like hype chats is I think what they're called. To my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara and today we are in the kitchen cooking up some delicious meal ideas that can save you some money, keep you cooking at home, but still have similar meals that you might want when you go out and eat. Eating out right now is absolutely atrocious with pricing. <laughs> Like, just the three of us to eat can be anywhere from $30 to $90, just oh depending my, on where we're nine, going and what we are doing. So, I've put together some delicious meals that you can make at home to save you some money and still be able to feed your family Thank you so those much. delicious restaurant-quality meals. Let's go ahead and get cooking, y'all. That's the other important thing you need to know about Tabitha is that she's always going to do what's right for her and her family. And she suggests that y'all do what's right for you and your family. Restaurant quality? Ew. Why is restaurant quality gross? We are changing up a classic, the KFC Famous Bowl. But y'all, honestly, I love this version no, so much better. And I, feel, I will just be making this for now on. It was so good. I feel, I'm gonna I feel like she is stretching the truth here. That does not look like, listen, I've I've made the, the KFC bowls. And by made, I mean had and eaten. I, I had and ate a KFC chicken bowl on my channel. And it doesn't look anything like this. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like this. This doesn't, that is like not a, a fried piece of chicken. Where's the cheese? Good point. Where's the cheese? It's just chicken and gravy. And then you made some mashed taters and some corn gaslighting this version is so much better and i will just be making this for now on it was so good i'm gonna go ahead and get started you, off with my mash you fucked in kfc bowls in your stoner days what see this is why we can't put this on youtube y'all are y'all y'all are saying too much potatoes y'all know my crock pot mashed potatoes are my tried and true absolute favorite thing so i'm getting those going in my crock pot i will have the recipe link down below I love, I but love i have just washed and peeled and cut taters. up my potatoes i added them into my crock pot covered them with water and then i add in some chicken bouillon i'm just adding in garlic powder okay, salt work. pepper onion powder work. paprika season with your heart you want those potatoes to taste good <laughs> and then you're just going to mix everything she also often says season with your heart and sometimes that means she does actually put a lot of seasoning on it. But a lot of time, that means that she's putting no, no seasoning on it. Together, put the lid on it and let these cook on high for about four hours. Now that it's been several hours, it's time to go ahead and finish up everything else so that way we okay. can eat. Yes, I've got I like her, her tattoo's kind of fun. Oh wait, is that a human? Wait, let's inspect <laughs> this tattoo. That's like a jar, and there is that is a person inside the jar, and the flowers are growing out of the person. I do like it. I I just didn't realize that was a human at first glance. There there is a person inside the jar. We're in there. I've just cut off the cob. I think I had about. What do you mean you don't see the person? It's right here. This is the head. This is a leg, this is an arm, this is an arm. And they're like sitting. I think, I think this is them sitting. You see what I'm saying? You see it now? It's kind of hard because you do have to kind of, kind of like, you know, you kind of have to do that a little bit, but. So that way we can eat. I've got Bessie, some corn there. I don't there. know what to tell you. How do you not see that this right here is a head? Can you see my mouse moving? So that you got the top of the jar. 
you got you got the top of the chart. You got a head. You got arms. You got this full ass leg and foot. Not the head I'm used to. You are dark sided. You you are dark sided. They're they're in the fetal position. They're in wait. They're in the fetal position. This is the position they're in, okay? I'm going to demonstrate. This is, this is, <laughs> I can't do it in my chair. I can't. <laughs> They're in this position. You see? You got it? <laughs> this is the position they're in, okay? That's, that's the position. <clears throat> Are you good? I've just cut off the cob. I think I had about four cobs um, that Ooh, I cut I've off. I've had and about four cobs, pot. if you know what I'm And then saying. I'm just going to add in some butter, a little bit of salt. That corn was super sweet. It was really good corn. Oh, good. Um, I didn't need to add any sugar or anything, which is what I normally do. I normally add a little bit of sugar to the corn. But this corn this year was so good. I don't get good. it. Like, it just... do you have to drown the person in the jar to make the flowers to grow? It means that the flowers are growing from the person, you know? not need it and then for the chicken i just got a super thin cut chicken breast and i'm just giving that a season on both sides okay with some like chicken seasoning but you use any all-purpose seasoning or seasoning that you like you on your just chicken. gotta season with but your heart i'm just heart. gonna season that on both sides and then we will See, get that cooking is, up in my pan <laughs> this irritates when they say just use any old any old seasoning you want what why am i watching you i'm here for your recipe bestie I want to know what you think makes it taste good. If if I wanted to just season chicken with any old seasoning I had at home, I would do that. I'm just going to get that chicken cooking up in this pan with a little bit of olive oil. Now, since your chicken is super thin, it's not going to take long to cook it all. And you don't necessarily have to cook it all the way through because Why you not? will be finishing it in the gravy. Now, I uh, thought I hit record. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to cook it all the way through, but okay, that makes sense when I was going to start the gravy but looking back at all the footage I have I cannot find it <laughs> so I just cooked the chicken on both sides it gave it some color okay. and then I removed it from the pan added in a little bit of butter and then added in a little bit of flour and I made my roux and then that's what y'all had seen there a second ago I had started okay. my roux and then here I'm adding in my water and um chicken bouillon powder beef bouillon it powder and then I add in <laughs> It's it's giving chunky. I'm feeling the chunks. Some seasonings. The recipe that I loosely followed for this homemade gravy, I will have linked down below so that way y'all can have the recipe. And I do apologize yeah. for not getting listen, that. Uh, don't you listen? She she's a quirky girl. She, she makes her roux with water instead of like milk or cream. Um, in this footage, I swear I filmed it, but I love water I guess gravy. I didn't hit record. <laughs> Once I add in the rest of my seasonings, I'm oh, gonna get oh everything. shit! What was that? That that feels like a lot. Wait, that felt like a lot for Miss for for Miss Tabitha. Damn, it just flew out of that bottle. A stir together. Now I do have this on like a low medium, just so it's kind of lightly simmering on top you don't want it to burn or scorch at the bottom you just want to bring okay, it together it's getting, it's get it a nice darker and creamy gravy. and i'm telling you this homemade gravy is Although, so much it better. has to be all just seasonings i guess that's fine she she only lightly seasoned everything else i think that'll work out this will be good it'll balance it'll balance the lightly seasoned everything else sure this whole meal was just so much better than going and getting the famous bowl at KFC. I'm not even playing. And I know it does that look chunky though. <laughs> it is giving chunk. It's giving chunk like um what? <laughs> that wasn't the name of Eric and Ricky's dog, right? Eric and Ricky's dog was actually something else, not chunk. <laughs> it was chubs. <laughs> it's giving. 
It's giving chubs. These are not exact <gasps> copycat recipes. I always call him Chunk for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why in my head chunk is what he's what its name is. These are just delicious at-home versions of some of your restaurant favorites. Once that gravy comes together, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that chicken and just give it a few minutes. Make sure you check the temperature, of course. I, the internal Bray, temperature of fully it's... cooked chicken is one at sixty-five. So... Oh, oh, she's a quirky girl too. She uses a meat thermometer to check the internal temperature of her meat oh wow i thought only amber lynn did that um brie i really don't think this is a, a a dupe for a kfc famous bowl i just truly don't but that is what she's claiming so once your chicken is up to temp you are ready to eat this is so good. i think it's i think it's a fine chicken and gravy dish I don't know that it's the, the famous bowl. While that chicken is marrying together with that delicious gravy, we're going to go ahead and finish up these mashed potatoes. I'm going to take and drain these in the sink and then to the crock pot, we are going to add in a little bit of butter and some evaporated milk. Okay. I choose to do evaporated milk. You can do regular milk, non-dairy milk, whatever you use for your mashed potatoes. Cream, it doesn't matter. But we're going to add that into the crock pot, put the lid on it. Now it is on warm and we're just going to let that heat through. Mm. You're mashed potatoes will whip so much better mm. if you bring everything mm. up warm warm evaporated milk yummy to the potato temperature you don't want to shock it by adding in your cold dairy or non-dairy if you want nice light fluffy delicious mashed potatoes bring all the temperatures up together and so way, that way you're creaming everything at the same temperature i honestly truly there's so many things that tabitha makes in the crock pot that I'm like would be just easier I think if she just made it normal I will say this is the one time that the mashed potatoes I guess make a little bit of sense since she was cooking everything else not in a crock pot like I could see how that might be love, helpful love, and save love her my some cream time. Wheat, wheat. what do you know about creaming oh <laughs> I don't know Maya you tell me what do you know about creaming what do you know about some creaming? <laughs> I've never creamed in my life before. This is a thousand times better than going to the restaurant and getting the KFC bowl. You know what's in it. It's absolutely delicious. And for me, this was super cheap. The potatoes were free and I had everything the else. The potatoes were free? To make this delicious meal for my family. How do I get free potatoes? <laughs> I want some free potatoes. The fuck? Yeah, also, Famous Bulls have cheese, and that is definitely missing for me. Although, I don't think that dish necessarily needs cheese, but if we're making a dupe, if the idea is a dupe, then give me some fucking cheese, you know? I mean, y'all know I love cheese. <laughs> Y'all know I love a cheese. I don't have a problem with cheese at all. For us to get pizza out at a restaurant, it can be anywhere from $30 to $50, just depending on where we go and what we get. Oh, she's I making, making her own dough. I try to do this at least once a week. And pizza for us is super wow. simple and it is so cheap. I can make two homemade pizzas for us for about $10 to $12. I well make dang. homemade pizza crust, which I always have everything in the house for. I will make sure to have the recipe that I've been following. I will course. say, my mom used to make homemade pizza for us all the time. That shit was so fucking good. I, I haven't had it in so long, but would love. Would love. My mom basically made like the same five dishes over and over and over again, which is probably why I'm so comfortable just getting in a rut of eating the same thing over and over and over again, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but my mom made like, she'd make homemade pizza. She'd make this beef stew. She made this like, it was supposed to be, I think like a bacon cheeseburger pasta stuff. Um, she would make spaghetti, um, hamburgers and cheeseburgers, and then, um, you know what? I said five things. Now I'm coming up with so many more. <laughs> I'm coming up with so many more in my head. Because she made lasagna. She would make this, like, uh, uh, green bean potato and, like, 
kielbasa thing. So never mind. Let me not. Let me not shit on my mom. But she did. I like. She did have a set of recipes, and those were the recipes she knew and knew how to make. Um. So you know, it, there you go. I love my mom. I just saw her this weekend. <laughs> I love my mom. Literally like 10 cheap meals that I rotate between. Yeah, that basically that's what I think my mom was doing. Did you grow, did you have SOS growing up? What S, I don't know, what is it? Oh, shit on a shingle? No, my mom never made shit on a shingle, but I'm familiar. Several silver months. It is my favorite tried and true recipe. I'll have oh, why is she using that guys, knife to cut the dough? But having the homemade pizza crust. <laughs> Girl, why are you using that knife? Why are you using that knife to cut that dough? That is so, made me very anxious. It just made me so anxious. You add whatever toppings you want. I make home canned pizza sauce. That's the knife Literally, you this use? is such okay, Maya. a cheap. I, we're not all special like you. We're not all special. That was a big ass knife for that. You think, you think she needed all of that for that? I don't know. Listen, I haven't made my own pizza dough, so what do I know? Meal for us, and it is so good. I love that that this is a recipe video. Well, I guess she didn't claim to tell us, or claim to us that she was going to tell us how to make these things. But she didn't explain how she made that dough whatsoever. Wait, did she, did she say that? I'm talking way too much during this video. I'm not doing a good job reacting. Did she say that her pizza sauce was made from a packet? You've seen her can it before. Oh my gosh. Okay. when watching um edited like youtube videos i will say if we had chosen to watch the other option today miss lisa cooking miss lisa doesn't edit at all and we have witnessed miss lisa uh cooking and touching stuff and not washing her hands and contaminating stuff and it was very sussy I think in a video like this, it's hard to say. I, I, I'm just going to believe that she does wash her hands. before this shit comes up with these moms who cook which is fine this isn't about them being moms i the way i said that made it feel like i was about to say something like these moms i don't have any issue it just so happens that they're all moms and they cook and they love this b-roll video where they just put some royalty free music over it and i'm like what am i supposed to do with this what am i supposed to do with this so here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Of course, you can customize them, add whatever toppings well, you yeah. want. Well, yeah, do what's right for you and you your family. To. We love the classic cheese and one pepperoni. We also do a chicken alfredo. We do a barbecue chicken. We have so many favorites that we like. This night, I just kept it simple and did one cheese and one pepperoni. Once I got everything added, I'm just going to add these into a 400 degree oven and get them cooking up. But pizza night is definitely a favorite in my house. Pizza night's a favorite. Ooh, that cheese one looks a little bland, but that's okay. This past week, we celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary. What is that? Are those like love, some... love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. What do you know about homemade pizza? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. What, what do I know? I don't. Listen, we haven't made homemade pizza in our home in a while. Thanks, Rosie, so much for those bits. Appreciate it. I, I was just gonna say, this, these, this greenery, I'm thinking that's Brussels sprouts right there. I'm thinking that's Brussels sprouts. Did you hear that? 
I'm thinking those are Brussels sprouts. That's my guess. Um, I have to say, though, again, what fast food place is she getting steak from? Or is this just takeout? Because what she should have said, like, if she wants to be like, oh, this is my Texas Roadhouse steak dupe. But also, like, you know, I don't know. You should have just said, I don't know. I don't know what I want her to say. <laughs> I don't know what I want her to say. Um, that looks like jarred jalapenos based on the shade of green. I don't know. This is feeling a little like this one right here in particular is feeling like a Brussels sprout. Let's just let her cook. Let her cook, Zach. Let her cook. We have been married for 10 years. Luke oh, was my high school sweet. sweetheart. And if you don't count the times that we broke up and got back together like every high school sweetheart does that I know of, we have been together <laughs> for 16 years. Is that not crazy? That's nuts. So I wanted to... I can't imagine. I was just also saying this to somebody. Who was I saying this to? I think it was this weekend. I Oh, you know what? I was talking because my... Um, my my oldest nephew, his girlfriend was with, with him this weekend when they came up for the Cubs game. And I wasn't talking about him specifically, but I was just talking in general about like these, these people from our hometown that meet people and like marry people and stay with them for like their whole lives. I'm like, like they met them in high school and started dating in high school. I was not prepared to, like, fall in love with anybody for the rest of my life in high school. You know how much I've changed since high school? I can't... You know how much the people I went to high school with have changed since high school? Like, that is nuts to me. That is so wild as a concept to me. Um, you know, like, love that it's worked for her, truly. I'm so, so happy for her. But it's just like, not in my world, not in my world. That's never happening. <laughs> I forget some of y'all happily married in the chat. Yeah, there are some of y'all that love marriage or whatever. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. It's my seventeenth wedding anniversary on Saturday. Oh my gosh! Congrats, Megan. Congrats. <clears throat> to treat him and do a steak dinner. Oh, I had everything here at the house sprouts. except for Brussels. the ribeye steak, so that's all I had to pick up. And I looked up and found some on sale, so this up. made this meal even I cheaper. I lucked up. That is a fascinating use of that. Like way to say that. I lucked up. You don't usually people say I lucked out. I love hearing little different things like that. To go along with it, I did some roasted potatoes, and I'm also doing some creamy Brussels cream? sprouts. And y'all, this was so good. I had my mom make this for me for my birthday dinner, and I just didn't get enough of it, so I wanted to make it again. Okay, work. <laughs> so, the recipe that I'm using, I will have a link down below for who, you guys. Who doesn't love a milky Brussels sprout? <laughs> you got an issue with that, Maya Farrow, in the chat. I've got some Brussels sprouts there I have just washed and cut up. I added in some heavy cream, some minced garlic. I'm adding in salt, pepper, onion powder. Just season with your heart. And then I'm just going to toss that season together. With the heart. I did add some season cheese. With now, the, the recipe heart. that I will have linked used Parmesan and mozzarella. All mozzarella? Uh, <laughs> the mozzarella. Do y'all remember? And I know it's been so long since Fifty Shades of Mom has posted love, anything. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Zach loves raw Brussels sprouts. Oh, Jamie, listen, if, <laughs> listen, y'all. If y'all are gonna start trolling me with the text to speech because we're recording for the YouTubies, we can do this more often. <laughs> more often you gotta you gotta spend money to troll me with the text to speech all right okay anyways you remember how um how 50 shades of mob used to say it she used to say mozzarella or or whatever M the mozzarella the mutts i love her her mozzarella or what did she say well, let's go back i need to hear it again i got too distracted <laughs> <laughs> the recipe that I will have linked used Parmesan and mozzarella. All mozzarella. Kind of like a Maserati. 
You want a hot body? You want a Maserati? Well, you better work, bitch. <laughs> you want a mozzarella? <laughs> you want a mozzarella? It was um, like a Colby Jack blend, but y'all, it was so good. I think you could use any cheese you wanted to for oh, this. Oh, good to know. It would just kind of change the flavor profile. So I added in some cheese. I'm going to mix that together. And I, love, get that. I love also when she talks about a flavor profile. Like, what honestly do you know about flavor profiles outside of, like, cheese? <laughs> outside of cheese. And the other thing, of, if you've never watched Tabby before, that she is known for on our channel is she loves to add cans of soup to things. So her flavor profiles are, like, cheese and canned soup. Oh, and, and like seasoning packets, like ranch seasoning, taco seasoning. Those are her flavor profiles. She did one semester of culinary school, bestie. <laughs> true, true. I think that is true. I think that is part of the, the Southern wife, everyday life lore. That in that greased casserole dish right there behind the bowl. Ooh, the and then I'm going to top it with more cheese. Dish. And then we're just going to put this in the oven about. God, I was kind of thinking there wasn't enough. I was kind of thinking there wasn't enough. For my potatoes, I have just washed and cut up some of my potatoes that were given to us. They were locally grown, and y'all, they were so, so good. So <laughs> The best good. potatoes that I have ever had, I think. They're so good. Other than my purple potatoes that I grew myself. Those were really good as well. But I have just coated them in some olive oil, and then I like to add a couple Work. tablespoons of my homemade dry onion soup mix, and that's it. I give them a toss, make sure they're well coated in that seasoning mix, and <laughs> then I add the, There's the onion soup mix. She does love an onion soup mix, does use it a lot. To the extent that, like, to her credit, she makes her own homemade versions of it. But we've watched so many, um, so many videos where she has used like the the packet that you get at the at the grocery store. Add them onto my cookie sheet, and I get them roasted in a four hundred degree oven. They're gonna take about. 20 to 30 minutes it just depends on how big your chunks of potatoes are Ooh, chunks 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 of potatoes <laughs> i wasn't talking about you poe it's okay buddy it is best to cook steaks at room temperature so i did leave these steaks out on the counter okay. while i was getting everything else prepped up i'm just giving them a season on both sides with some of this 1836 beef rib work Pat that, pat them steaks. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. What do you know about chunks? <sighs> Rosie, thanks so much for those bits. Uh, the chunks, the chunks. <laughs> Actually, have a um, it's a a little bit of a twitch inside joke. There's a there's a girly, in um named Sweepy <laughs> here in the Twitch community, and Sweepy uh gets a little excited when there's chunks on the screen like a little like you know like now that i know this is going on youtube i gotta you i gotta use my words right wisely but you get it you get it right not you telling lies on b that no that is that that is not a <laughs> that's not that's not a lie <laughs> Oh, is that going to introduce us to the YouTube? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start maybe just uploading the reaction part to like a a, a special a second a third technically a third YouTube channel um, because people a lot of people in my video yesterday asked if I could do that so uh, I'm gonna I'm we're testing it out today we're gonna see how it goes. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. <clears throat> the Zachary Michael Media Network is expanding. So true. 
I made sure to get my cast iron pan nice and hot before I added in my steaks. Ooh, she's now using I set a timer iron. for six minutes. Oh, I hate the and word. And then iron. after that six minutes on that one side, I flipped it and set another timer for six minutes. I did Luke's steak for six minutes on each side, and I ended up doing my steak for an additional two minutes oh, just to what, how far did I, you, you know, just to it? get it to my liking. I like mine a little bit more done than he does. <laughs> But that is just going to depend on, I honestly, you know. that's also the reason I can't eat steak is, like, people shame me for wanting a well-done steak. Well, I wouldn't get well-done. I'd probably get medium, rare, medium, or just straight-up medium. Or medium well, actually, I think is what I usually request. But I don't love, I don't love steak, to be honest. I'm not into just, like, a big slab of meat. Well, I'm into other kinds of big slabs of meat, but not like that, you know? how you want your steak if you want it medium rare rare or well done that's just totally up to you when it was a couple minutes from being done on that oh, second come on, side butter. i added in a couple tablespoons well, of butter we need on top Darlene of steak over here. with some dried rosemary and then i just took and let that melt and kind of just coated it basted those steaks with that delicious rosemary butter what and do you know about a giant so slab flavorful. of meat i just told you i just told you what i know about a giant slab of meat full and delicious what I fast food is this? Keep... You don't remember ordering a steak back at the uh, McDonald's? They used to have steaks. They haven't had them in a while. It's been a while since they served the mixed steak, but they they used to do it. I can't believe you don't remember that. I can't believe you don't remember the mixed steak. Keep me for a couple more years because he really enjoyed coming home after a long day of work to a delicious and really cheap steak dinner. Wait. I need to home see after a long the day Brussels work. sprouts in the baking dish. Because look at these pools of grease. <laughs> she loves a pool of grease. It's like over here, the pools of grease. And and it, it looks fine. It's going to be okay. I would eat them, to be honest with you. That's also the thing about Tabby. She always posts these things. I'm always like, this is all questionable. But I would usually mostly eat all of it. To a delicious and really cheap steak dinner. Pollo Bandito, Pollo Supremo, Chef Special, whatever you call it at your Mexican restaurant, this what? is always a go to for us. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what is that? Also, hearing her say Pollo, Pollo, um, let's see, Pollo Bandito. What, what what does that mean? A traditional Mexican dish with a unique combination of flavors. It's a spicy, flavorful dish typically served with rice, beans, or salad. The name literally translates to thief chicken in English, and the dish is said to have originated in Mexico. Oh, yeah. I used to get this all the time at the, well, I, it was definitely not called, it was definitely not called this at my Mexican restaurant, but I did used to get this because I was a basic ass bitch back then. I would probably still order it to be honest, but this is, this is basically, yeah, this is it. This is it. It's just like chicken smothered in like white cheese sauce with beans and rice. I used to get this shit all the time. Yeah. It's true. It's not me getting a diet sodi ad when joining the stream. Oh my god. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Um, j they just keep saying it's spicy and flavorful. To be honest, I didn't do a, a great, a great, um... A, a thorough YouTube or Google search of what what the dish was. It's it's like I think very. I will say I've never seen it in a Mexican restaurant here in Chicago. I think it's very much like a. How can we get these people in the middle of nowhere to buy stuff at our Mexican restaurant type of vibe? Uh, because all of the Mexican restaurants I've gone to in the middle of nowhere, where I'm originally from have a dish like that. They really do. 
And fixing it at home is so, so good. I've got thin cut chicken breast there. I'm just going to give it a coating of olive oil and then I'm gonna season it up with some adobo seasoning and some cumin. I did add a little bit of pepper. Cumin. I just kept adding it until- Is that, is that a cumin? Do people say it like that? I'm just curious. I say cumin. I tried to get all of the Come chicken in. coated and I just <laughs> let that marinate in. in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour and then Luke is going to grill this on the grill outside. Ooh, come on, now, I'm not claiming that this is authentic in any way, so we, nobody come for me. Girl, none of us thought this was authentic in any kind of way. <laughs> none of us thought this was authentic in any kind of way. If that's what people are expected from you, they better they better um lower their expectations. This is just my version of how I make this at home. We aren't fans of refried beans, and oh, so that's I always bad. do I black beans when I fix beans. this at home. I'm just going to add in two cans of my black beans there, beans. and then lie. I'm just going to add blah, in blah, some... My cream. We, we. I'm going to coom. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, don't do that. Chicken bouillon powder, some cumin, and a little bit of garlic powder just to give it some seasoning. And then I'm just going to let those heat through. Work. She loves adding that nor chicken powder to stuff, which I, it does add some flavor. You put oregano in your Now beans? I'm going to make some quick Live and easy truth. Mexican style rice. The recipe that I'm using, I will make sure to have linked down below for you guys. I've used it several times and it is a favorite of ours. I have just got some white rice there that I have just rinsed until the water came out clear. And I'm so fascinated that so many of the girlies that I watch on YouTube all like cook their rice on the stovetop. Like, do y'all not have rice cookers? <laughs> You can even make it in the Instapot. We use our Instapot to make big batches of, of white rice for the week. Like, I'm just so confused. I mean, I, it works. It works. I'm just always so fascinated. If that comment got attention on Zach's YouTube, I want reality TV star rights. Oh my gosh, the people on the, on the new YouTube channel are going to know about our in-depth reality tv workers rights conversation and i didn't record that part of the stream and then i've added it in with some oil and i'm just going to kind of move that around over the about medium high heat and we're just going to get that nice and toasty with some color while that is toasting up over there i'm going to go ahead and make a quick queso okay now this isn't how i normally make it i was working with what cheeses i could find um, I normally do like a white cheddar in a pepper jack, uh -huh. and I could not find any white cheddar in block. Um, so I used pepper jack, and I used um, Colby jack. Like okay. I said, that's not my normal, and I didn't prefer this flavor for uh, this, you know, style meal. But sometimes you got to work with what you have. I will so have true, my like tried and true recipe that I love. Actually, it's a crock pot queso. I'll have that link down below. Oh, it is yeah, give us the favorite. crock pot but For queso. some reason, I was having a hard time finding the cheeses that I normally use. It had been a little bit since I've actually made this want, at home. I want the crock pot. I want the crock pot queso. Um, oh, but man. you just want to melt that down with I some heavy cheated. cream. I did add in some green chilies. And it's just oh. a quick at-home cheese, you know, quick queso. Like I said, it wasn't the exact recipe that I normally use and flavor profile that I was going for. But hey, it, it worked. It, it, cheese is cheese, girl. <laughs> Once the rice had some color on it. I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken broth, my tomato sauce, and then my seasonings that the recipe called for. I'm going to bring that to a boil, reduce okay. the heat. We're going to put a lid on it and just let that cook for about 20 minutes. And then turn the heat off and let it sit for about five Why minutes. And then you'll just fluff it with a fork. And this Question. Is there a reason to like put, put one of the seasonings in your hand and dump it in, but then just put all the other seasonings directly into um into the into the water i'm just curious that that's a no judgment question i'm just wondering <laughs> this is my favorite mexican style rice recipe 
it's what her heart told her. Probably. She is seasoning with her heart. That's what she normally does. Here's everything all done. We have got our chicken, our queso. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why is the queso in the crock pot all of a sudden? How did it get there? How did it get there? Why, why is it in the... What happened? Did I miss something? <laughs> I'm so confused. Our rice and our black beans. Now, even though my queso didn't turn out perfect, this was still a super delicious supper. The only uh -huh. things I didn't make was the tortilla chips, and I did set out flour tortillas in case anybody wanted those oh, as well. Oh yeah, that doesn't that doesn't look like oh well that really doesn't because it's set out flour tortillas in case anybody that doesn't look like the picture I showed y'all but go off sister Sue go off wanted those as well even with grocery prices being as high as they are nowadays it is still so much cheaper to feed my family That's at home so true keeping a well stocked pantry fridge and freezers definitely helps me make these restaurant and fast food style recipes right in my own kitchen for super You're cheap so real for that i girl. really hope y'all enjoyed today's video i hope it gave you some new meal inspiration and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys Oh, I think I just ate more of that lip chap than I intended to. It's like on my tongue. Oh, uh, uh, oh what? I thought I was pushing the escape button. I wasn't. All right. Well, besties, uh, I'm going to end it here for the YouTube -y people. If you're watching live on Twitch, I'm going to keep talking for a second. But. That wasn't my watch history. That was literally recommended videos for me to watch. Have you ever watched the YouTube before, Illy? 420 Lily? <laughs> Anyways. Mm, it's like all over. Oh, you want to you wanna see my, my watch history? No, I'm good. But anyways, uh, if you're watching on YouTube. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. YouTube, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. What are you doing with your life? Oh, so true. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> oh, Rosie, thanks for gifting a sub. Thanks for gifting a sub. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to your bestie, Heather. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for coming over to this new YouTube channel. That We're trying something new. We'll see how it goes, where I'm going to upload these reactions. Uh, but I do uh, talk for a whole hour, usually, before we get to the actual YouTube reaction situation type of deal. So if you ever just want to come over and shoot the shit with me on Twitch, find me at twitch.tv slash the Zachary Mike. Um, and check us out there. And then, of course, here we are. There's a schedule. I always post that on Twitter as well. So you can see. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so thanks so much, YouTube. Bye!